Good day everyone! Our lesson for today is all about the arithmetic sequence. So what is arithmetic sequence? Arithmetic sequence are a sequence of numbers that progress based on the common difference shared between two consecutive numbers. This is an example of an arithmetic sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. Can you see a pattern in the example? Yes, it has a pattern. The arithmetic sequence, as you can notice, has a common difference. So, 2 is the first term, 5 is the second term, 8 is the third term, 11 is the fourth term, 14 is the fifth term, 17 is the sixth term, and 20 is the seventh term. To go from the first term, to the second term, we need to add 3. To go from the second to the third term, we need to add 3 because 3 is our common difference. So in an arithmetic sequence, the pattern is based on addition and subtraction. Now the next thing that we need to talk about is the mean. How to calculate the arithmetic mean? The arithmetic mean is basically the average of two numbers. The formula for this is m is equal to a plus b divided by 2. So when taking an arithmetic mean of two numbers within an arithmetic sequence, let's say for an example, the mean of 2 and 8, we would get that needle number in that sequence. In this case, we would get 5. So if you will add up 2 and 8 and divided by 2, 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now let's say if we wanted to find the arithmetic mean between 5 and 17, it's gonna give us the middle number of that sequence, which is 11. So if you will add up 5 and 17 divided by 2, so 5 plus 17 is equal to 22. 22 divided by 2 is 11. So that's how you could calculate the arithmetic mean. Now, let us try to find the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. So the formula for this is a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times common difference, which is d. Now, let's use that equation to get the fifth term in an arithmetic sequence 10 20 30 and 40 so that's gonna be a sub 5 equals a sub 1 which is the first term and the value of the first term is 10 plus n is 5 since we are looking for the fifth term minus 1 times 10 which is the common difference so copy 10 plus 5 minus 1, so the answer for this is 4. Copy the common difference, which is 10. Then copy 10 plus 4 times 10, which is the answer is 40. Then add 10 plus 40, the answer is 50. So 50 is our fifth term. So this formula gives you any term in a sequence you could find in a sequence. You can find the fifth term, the seventh term, the hundredth term, and so forth. By the way, make sure you have a sheet of paper so you could write down this formula so that when we work on some practice problems, you know what to do. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to be able to calculate the partial sum of the sequence. So here is the formula. S sub n is the partial sum of a series of a few terms and is equal to the first term plus the last term divided by 2 times n. So let's find the sum of the first seven terms in this sequence. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. So, S sub n equals A sub 1 is the first term, which is 5, plus A sub 7, which is 35, divided by 2, 
times n, which is 7. So 5 plus 35 is equal to 40 divided by 2 times 7. 40 divided by 2 is 20 times 7. The answer is 140. So that's the sum of the seven terms. Well done! You can now understand the arithmetic sequence. So let's try these. Number 1, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. Find the common difference. Find the 20th term. And lastly, add up the first 10 terms. This is Pearl Angel Kasi, your tutor for today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.